Hello world, today we'll be checking out the Newscatcher API which scrapes the headlines of articles of major um, online news agencies in multiple countries and in multiple languages on a variety of topics. Um, but first, welcome to the 134th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Uh, one of the capabilities I really want Shane to have is the ability to do a comprehensive search on a topic. Uh, if you haven't seen this video yet, uh, then click the card here so you can see how I made my own uh, Alexa or Siri voice command uh, digital assistant. And in that video, we can ask Shane uh, to Google a simple search term and then it will open a web page for that first term. So let's check that out now. Shane. How can I help you? What is inflation? Here is what I found. Okay, and so now it has pulled up what is inflation. Okay, so additionally, we use the Google Custom Search API to do a deeper search into all of the uh, Google, like Google Sports, Google News, Google Politics. And uh, we tried to make a headquarters uh, trivia bot, that old school app. And uh, you could watch that video by clicking here. But both of these options rely heavily or solely on Google. And they have had a history of being uh, manipulated, their, their Google results being manipulated. So if I really have like a Jarvis um, digital assistant where I need real assessment, then it's going to need something more comprehensive and something a little better than just relying on Google. And so uh, I found this Newscatcher API. And so we're going to check it out. Uh, in a, all we're going to do is do the setup of it and see um, printing up a bunch of titles for some economics blogs. And in a future video, we'll filter out the data we need for like inflation and print out some summaries. And then who knows, maybe use some machine learning and AI to come up with a comprehensive result. But for now, let's just check out the API setup and see what we have here. So I'm going to run this. And what it's going to do is it is going to give me the URL and the title of these um, headlines and articles from these economics blog or economics news agencies. So we have IMF.org. So that is the International Monetary Fund. And these, I just printed out three for this video, but um, we can remove that and you could have a crap ton of titles. Mises.org, that's a uh, libertarian leaning website. Fee.org, Naked Capitalism, the Economics Collapse blog, BasicIncome.org, that will probably be more on your left side. National Affairs, Economic Policy Journal, and so on and so forth. All right, and so what we could do is um, put this in a dictionary and then filter just ones that have inflation in the title or do some sort of analysis like that. So to set up the API, uh, for, first you'll need to pip install Newscatcher. And I'll put a link in the description to this. So Newscatcher is uh, lowercase. And I'll put a link to this GitHub. It's really good. It has this nice little video of watching it set it up. Um, and they also have their own website, which is probably cool. So uh, check that out. And again, I'll leave a link in the description. And then from Newscatcher, we're going to import Capital Newscatcher for the class that we'll use. And then from Newscatcher, we're going to import the URLs. And so um, let's go through this iteratively so you can see all the capabilities it has. But first, all I want are economics URLs in English. So what you can do is uh, just do English economics articles. And then you pass it the topic equals economics. But you can change it to politics. And I believe the, the documentation has all the different kinds of uh, topics that you can find. Tech, news, business, science, finance, etc. And so I just want economics. And I want the language in English. 
and I don't care about the country, but you can filter by country as well. Um, country equals U.S. And so, so I just want English articles about economics. And so let's look at all the ones that uh, it has. And so Wall Street Journal, IMF, Mises Fee. Um, there were some that we didn't talk about. No, nope, that's about it. And so the reason why I want to show that is that we didn't see the Wall Street Journal on the first one. And I'll show you why in a second. So those are all the URLs and we'll need that as we go further. So you can see all the economic, you can see all the URLs that it's pulling from. So if you change this to politics or AU or whatever language you want it in. So then we're going to get into the, um, okay, so we just printed up all the English URLs. And so what we're going to do for each URL, which is all the URLs you just saw, in this English Economics URLs list, which is what it gives you, we're going to try to do, and then um, the documentation says NC equals capital news catcher, and we're going to pass it the URL. So for every URL, it's going to run through this code and then give it, try to pull this website. Um, if you look at the documentation, you can just pass it, if you take out the for loop, you can just pass wsj.com or imf.org, I believe. But so that's how you do that. And then we're going to get it into a results equals nc.getnews. So we're going to get the news for it. Articles equals results, which is up here. And then we just want the articles of it. And you can see the key value pairs in the documentation on the GitHub. And for each article in articles, so that's here. Um, we only printed the zero width index to the second index or three items. But again, I just did that for the YouTube channel. You can remove this to just make it look like that. Then we're going to get the titles equals the URL plus. So we're concatenating this um, semicolon. Or I'm sorry, colon plus the space plus the article title. I just want the tar title, but you can also do summary. And summary is a longer version of the title, uh, article. So, but we just did the title. Then um, we print the URL article title, which you saw. So else, pass. Um, not sure why that's there actually. But uh, I think we could delete that. I had a if and if then statement in there. Surprised it didn't give me an error. But anyways, um, and then we're going to accept a type error, and we'll pass on that. And the reason why you're going to have to put this in the try and accept is because when they wrote this, I imagine. Uh, let's see if we can find the date. It looks like about a year ago. Uh, that could when they updated it. But um, since then, most uh, websites, so if I change this to politics, you'd see it even more. Many websites from new agencies have put paywalls up there. So if we did not have this accept type error, you would get a none found and then it would break. It would break the code because if you remember when we printed the English economic articles, the wallstreetjournal.com does not participate in this uh, web scraping anymore. So it will break your code. But if we get that type error, which type error none found, then we would just get a pass. And then it would go to the next article and the next article and the next article. So that's pretty, I think it's amazing. And I don't know why it took me so long to find this API. And so uh, let's run this one more time. Make sure I didn't break it with the else statement. So there we go. IMF.org. You see the Wall Street Journal is not on here because it was caught in this accept. And it goes through each one and prints only the third article in here. So what can you do with this and what will we do with this? So I kind of already started um, running through it. But what I would probably do is um, establish a dictionary, uh, an empty dictionary, and then append it. So title dictionary dot append and then put each of the titles in there and then put like an if then like if inflation is in this article 
then maybe put the summary, which is the longer one, so you don't have to print it here, into a, another dictionary called Ar uh, Article Summary Dictionary. And then you can pass all of that into a machine learning model or something to read all of them and you know provide an assessment of what you're looking for. So anyways, this was just an introduction into the Newscatcher API. I'm excited to integrate this into Shane's further capabilities. And if you'd like to see me continue building Shane, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, like this video, please watch all of it to help out my channel. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.